Today we will be talking about the plugin called Evil Multi-Edit, which allows us to make selections and then edit those selections interactively. In other editors this is usually known as multi-cursor, but this plugin goes slightly beyond what other editors provide. The plugin was created by Henrik Lissner, the author of Doom Emacs. So before we dive into the Evil Multi-Edit uh, package or plugin, I would like to address some comments I got on Reddit and clarify that each plugin or package I cover in this series is not exclusive to Doom Emacs. You can use it with any Emacs installation. The only difference is that the plugins I cover come pre-installed and pre-configured in the Doom Emacs distribution. Okay, let's dive in. So here I have three paragraphs of Franz Kafka. I'm in the second paragraph and when my cursor is on the word, if I press meta D, I will select this particular word. If I repeat that, again, meta D, it will find another occurrence of that word downwards. If I now press meta uppercase D, it will find the occurrence upwards. This also works with the visual selections. So let's say I would like to select the first name and the last name. And now I have several possibilities. I can use meta D as before, or I could press uppercase R to select all the matches at once. Once those matches are selected, I can move between them using Ctrl N for next and Ctrl P for previous. If I would like to exclude some of the matches, I just press Enter or to include them, Enter again. So let's say I'm not interested in modifying this match, but only those two. So now within those uh, violet boundaries, I can make any change. Let's say it's Gregory and the change will be reflected in all places. Like that. I can remove a word, I can undo, I can make any change I want. And those changes will be always reflected across all the selections. There are however a few edge cases that you must remember. If I'm here at the beginning and I press D, W, it works. If I press this again, it doesn't work because as you can see this word over here wasn't removed. And the reason is that you must make your changes within the boundaries, which means that if you press D, W, you are effectively going one character beyond that. So in this case it would be better to press, if it's the last word, it would be better to press DE. And now the word disappeared, but we have two spaces to deal with. So before we go, I created a Discord channel. So if you're interested in talking with me or with other people following those tutorials, please feel free to join us. And the Discord channel URL is in the description for this video. That's all for today. May the Emacs Force be with you.